What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Heist Puzzle Box. This is the latest puzzle box from the Leisure Luke YouTube channel. Uh, it is available for free at Thingiverse.com. All the STL files are included. Uh, it's puzzle number three in a series of puzzle boxes. Here is the launch, which was released a couple of months ago. And the key, which was the first puzzle box I've ever done. And the reason I'm doing this video, it, it's like 1.30 in the morning. I released the video today, but I didn't have the assembly video done. Uh, so I've got all the pieces here for the 150% size puzzle. We're going to do this in one take, so you get to join me for all my mistakes. It'll be a different uh, experience. So without further ado, let's get to our assembly. Um, all the print orientations should be good and not require supports. These, these are the orientations that all the pieces print in. And we are going to start the assembly. Uh, I have a players here, that's the only tool you might need, with the door. Because it's the, the fun part. Uh, so this is the door, the 9 and the 3 are on the outside. And the back has these three squares in it. First thing we need to put into the door is the dial. You're just going to line the arrow up and push it through from the inside to the outside. And at that point you can turn the dial. And now it's kind of stuck in the door. Because it just might go through that one spot. So uh, Next we're going to put on these pin pieces. And this is, uh, it doesn't matter which side you do first, just rotate this dial so the little peg is out of the way. Slide the pin into its little pocket, and then it should sit in its spot, just like that. Then I'm going to move the peg again out of the way for the other pins. This is pins 2, 3. Uh, these won't go in backwards. You'll, you'll know which way they go in, because they kind of only fit one way. Uh, there's a pocket. It's hard to see with the light, but it's, it's there. Um, perhaps with a little bit of encouragement, this will go into its pocket. Perfect. And, and sit in its grooves. Just like that. Alright, next we have the safe bar. And we're going to want these squares to be along the top. And those will go into the holes on the back of the door. And this sort of overhanging piece faces the hinge. And that, that'll push in. And that's pretty tight. The tolerances there are actually zero um, in the X direction and like 0.1 in the Y direction or Z direction. So, so there's a tight fit. That, that may take some finagling, that may be a time when you need the pliers to really press it in there. Lastly, we have the tool. The tool, the, the hex end of the tool will face down, clip onto the safe bar, and that's it. We're going to set that little door assembly aside uh, for now. This puzzle box is my least favorite to assemble. The pieces go together the best, but at the end we have these two cases and parts want to fall out and we have to hit them together. You, you'll see when we get there. If I was editing this video, I would cut that out. Alright, alright. So, we're going to do the bottom of the assembly now. Grab the piece that says Safe Co on it and take this tall tower and put it in the bottom left hand corner. That's the front left of our puzzle box, and uh, that's, that's important so all your orientations are correct. Next, take the T7 with the, with the diamond on the front, and slide it in so that it's, it's facing us when this is in the bottom left-hand corner. And that just rests in there. Next, we have the barrel assembly. So this is, this is the pin. This is sort of the tricky little pin that, that runs a lot of the inside of the puzzle. And that is keyed to slide into the barrel. And it only will really slide in one way. 
And once you have it slid on, uh, this should almost come to the middle point of the barrel. And there should be a little gap behind here still left over. And that is where the barrel spring goes. Again, this is keyed. Will only fit one way. It just kind of goes in most of the way. And, and then this whole assembly will slide down over what we've already built. And uh, if it doesn't sit flat, that's okay for now. Next, we're going to assemble the uh, door spring and clip, or the clip spring and the clip. This little part that protrudes is a specific shape. It's like a little trapezoid. That will only fit this one way. And it looks like that is, that is the correct way. Again, this is a tight piece. You might need a pliers. I've taken this one apart a couple times, so it fits together pretty nice now. Alright, now we have this, which is the lower bolt uh, clamp. So this goes in the middle. See this little part that protrudes here? This, this side sticks out further. That's on the inside of the puzzle box. You can see that. So that's going to go on top of the bolt, facing the inside. And now we'll kind of push both sides down. And it's probably best for assembly if you push it down and then lock in the diamond. And then push this so it faces straight up. And then, then it'll kind of hold its position. From there... So I, so I did have to push in this diamond, sorry, to get that, that pin to stick straight up. From there we can slide on this clip spring and clip. And that will go straight on from the top into that hole in the pin and into grooves on the side of the puzzle. It doesn't clip in, it just rests there for now. And that's okay. Now we're going to grab the bolt and the little piece of gold, which actually prints like in that orientation. Huh? How funny is that? Uh, and that's just so that the threads are printed close to being along the print side or uh, along like the nozzle shape so I don't have the nozzle trying to go over mountains to create threads. All right, this have the AU facing you and just start screwing in the threading in the bolt. And we're going to thread it in almost all the way. Just don't make it tight, but you can go to the end. And that will rest on our assembly as well. The back is flat. That, for now, just rests there. Now let's assemble uh, the top of the puzzle box, the heist. So go ahead and grab the heist lid, and we're going to put the pin, uh, this little barrel, this half part of the hinge, in the upper left corner for this part. Grab the button, which will be on the right. This button and uh, the numbers here should face down. And just slide this in. And for now, this sort of just rests loosely on here. It's held in a little bit by the next piece, which is the spacer. And that will go like this. So you have the heist, and this, and it slides on. And that'll help hold the door spring in, in place a little bit. This is still pretty loose. And the last piece of the top of the puzzle box is this, which is the upper bolt clamp. Again, that little protruding side that sticks out a little further goes on the interior of the box. Oops. Sorry, I'm looking through the camera at what my hands are doing, and it's a little goofy. All right, so now we have the, the top of the box assembled. Now it gets a little tricky. So we have our, our top assembly, the thing, this, this hinge in the upper left, 
the bottom of our assembly with the hinge in the lower left and the door. All I need to do is put these pieces together, but it's, it's a little awkward, so good luck. This slides on like that. I just slid the door on the lower assembly. And now is the sort of tricky slide it all together motion. Oops, lost the upper bolt clamp. How fun is it to do this live? You guys don't always get to see the, the outtakes. All you just get frustrated at home trying to assemble these boxes. Um, if you've assembled my previous puzzle boxes, this isn't too dissimilar. The, the concept of sort of everything having a groove is the same. Something is misaligned. Oh, I don't have this. There we go. Perfect. Once it's together, it's brilliant. Before, before it falls apart, we're going to put these clips on. And again, I've put these on and off a handful of times, so they're not as tight as they once were. Uh, but this is sometimes the sort of thing you want to take your pliers. Really squeeze it so it's on there tight. And there are three clips on this puzzle. As you're clipping in, just make sure everything is flush. Make sure you didn't miss misalign anything. All right, double check that the, the gold is slid all the way to the right. Uh, make sure that the diamond is pressed in. The pin is facing up. The tool is in its slot. And, and when you close it, it's best to have this probably in like the 3 o'clock or the 9 o'clock position. If it's right in the middle, the center pin won't drop. So, so just put that to a side. Shut it. And now it is locked. And uh, you can hand it off to your friends, show off your 3D printing skills, uh, save the pieces, obviously, because the puzzle box is not going away, and eventually this will be a, a series of puzzle boxes, and you'll have to solve all of them. Uh, and by solving them, the final step is always to get this pin to push forward and be flush, and this that's <laughs> releasing the diamond from the vault. Um, and once all the pins are pushed forward in every single box, once you've solved them all sequentially, um, and there will be some extra bonus pieces in the corners, then you'll be able to open a physical box and see what's inside. Well, here are the little, little versions of the same puzzles. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Sorry for the goofy video this week. I am actually finally fully vaccinated, and the fiance, Amelia, and I are going to Mexico in like six hours. So I'm super excited I got the puzzle box out. We're going to do a review of the trip. We're staying at El Dorado Maroma, south of Riviera Maya in Cancun, Mexico, or outside Cancun, Mexico. And that's it. We're going to do those videos. I'm going to get another puzzle box. It's already in the works. It's, it's in good shape. It'll come out a lot faster this time than the last one did. And... Uh, Thank you all so much for the likes, subscribes, the comments. It means the world. It's the best part of my day when people comment on my videos. So uh, keep it coming. And, and your feedback is super important. I've been altering the puzzles little by little so that when I do the final assembly and the final build, I work out all the kinks. So if you have something consistently breaking, talk to me. We'll work through it. We'll fix it. Uh, thanks for everybody who's who's done that process with me already. It's I, I can't believe how, how fun it is to do. Thank you a lot. Enjoy the latest puzzle, the heist, and we will see you in another week in another video. And I don't have to edit this one. <laughs> Bye.